Hey, we're the Gould Brothers, and it's prime time. For archery trick shots, this is the Double Place Night. Cab Crusher. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Through the cab to the crusher. Let's do a little experiment and see what the G5 Montec Broadhead will go through. First up, basketballs. That one's One. flat. Two, three. Oh, oh, you found it. <laughs> Six through five. Stopped in the sixth one. Next up, the G5 Montec Broadhead versus Baby Watermelon. Let's go check it out. Right through the center. Oh, you got one down. Through two, three, four, five. Into the sixth one. There nice you have work. it. Over the river and through the woods, into the bear's vitals we go. Let's go! Get right there. Dead bear! And thankfully, not into grandma's house. I never had any doubts, I guess. No doubts at all. Through the PVC, off the board, into the bear. That was cool. Look at that, right into the vitals. Perfect shot. Dead bear. Now let's try the G5 Montec Broadhead against some Sodi Pop. Oh, oh, look at that mess. Into oh, number nine. Look right look here. That. Look right here. Here it is. Oh, what a mess. Into number nine. <laughs> we skewered us some Sodi Pop. Time to get silly and put the G5 Montec Broadhead through some crazy strings. You skewered. What? Oh, look at that. You skewered like every can except for one. Failure. One, two, two, two. Pretty good. It did go into the target that time. <laughs> nice. So we were having a discussion. How many sheets of 29 gauge steel will the G5 Montec go through? Let's find out. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five. It made it through six. Partially through number six. Lots of sharp things. <laughs> that might be a permanent fixture right there, Steve. For many years, skilled archers worked on their craft shooting bow and arrow from horseback. But today's skilled archer does it much differently. They master their craft on high-tech electric bikes. Let's go. Who needs a horse when you got a bike and a bow? versus a frying pan. I would say the Montec won. I honestly did not Look think that, that would go through there. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Still perfectly intact. Beautiful. Let's try one more thing. One more thing. G5 Montec Broadhead against Concrete Block. Stick into the block. It, it partially went into the block. <laughs> Arrow did not handle it, but the broadhead, I don't know if that's coming out of there. Look at that. The broadhead is still intact. That is amazing. In a cinder block. I'd love to see what the tip of that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to wreck it. <laughs> there it is. Oh my goodness. Unreal. That is amazing that that withstood that kind of a shock. Those blades 
are not dented or deformed. Sun may be going down, but things are just heating up here. Here it is, the end of the day. We're in the dark and we're bringing you a world record. 500 yards of the compound bow. there 500 yards with a compound bow shooting the ct5 80 plus pound draw weight nice job aaron it's an incredible shot that is so awesome so just last night aaron shoots 500 yards with a compound bow setting a new world record but today in the daylight i'm gonna break that record stepping it back to 500 and five yards right here. Let's launch it. What's the matter, Steve? <laughs> I almost got it. Back? Okay. Back. All right. Well, maybe not today. I'm going to work on that one, but I'll be back. That I guarantee. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And special thanks to Prime Bows for hooking us up with these awesome CT5 bows. If you want to learn more about them, check the link in the description. Watch our latest video, click right over here. And to subscribe to our channel, click right up here. Remember, it's impossible to hit the shots you never take. So pull back, launch an arrow, and shoot for your dreams. See ya! Little arrow flew, flew, this is how we shoot you. Pulling on our Prime Bows and shooting those clays dead. Pull!